Baby Kitty says it's a beautiful morning. Off to the car. I think I have everything I need. We'll find out. It's a beautiful day though. It's going to be a little warm. But uh, wouldn't have it any other way. It's June and Midwest and that's just how we roll. So <laughs> into the Jeep we go. We'll be in touch folks. Stay tuned. So we had to take care of a few administrative duties this morning. Stopped at the post office here in Waverly. You probably can't see it from where I'm at, but uh, I live here in Waverly. We've got an office here in Waverly, and then I've got my office in Omaha. So I'm Molly McClure with McClure Land Unlimited. Um, our brokerage was started in 1981 by my dad, Dale McClure. Some of you may know him. A lot of people ask me, what do I do for a living? Well, I manage farms. And so today I'm headed out, like I said, to Audubon County, Iowa. Um, we're going to take a look at a few farms we manage over there. Then we're going to roll on over to Lamar's. I'm super excited about this. We're going to see a 3,600 head dairy over in Lamar's. I believe it supplies everybody with cheese and milk and who knows what, probably ice cream too for miles. So i um, pretty excited to get to go see that. Never been in a 3,600 head dairy or a dairy that size at all. Um, so pretty excited. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have some great pictures, some great video. So I got kind of sidetracked. Imagine that. I, uh, I was headed on my way to Lamar's and I ran across the town called Templeton. And here in Templeton... They like to distill their whiskey. Templeton Rye. And I had, or although I don't drink, I haven't drank for almost 15 years, but um, I saw this and I thought I better stop. So, beautiful building. Pretty cool facility. This might be a uh, destination for another day when I have more time, but I gotta go in and check it out. I was a little bit of an unscheduled stop on the tour today, but I could not not stop. It was, it's such a beautiful building and uh, facility that they've got here. Really worth coming to see. Down here in the other end, there's a bar area. and um, I think, like I said, you can take a tour of the distillery, the actual distillery, which is, I'm going to show you here as I walk this way. It's back around the corner of this building, I believe. Flip it around. There you go. So yeah. Great sitting area. Enjoy the evening and a, a glass of rye on the rocks. Really worth a stop. I wish I had more time. They've got a really cool museum out back. I took a little video of that. Plenty of parking. Get on your Harley or your tractor or whatever it is you're riding and uh, come out and see these guys and support some local distillers here in, in Iowa. Okay, so we finally made it to the Perry Creek Dairy. I should have been videoing on my way in this place. Parking lot is definitely full. <laughs> Looks like a pickup truck convention. Anyway, oh, there's some SUVs. It's not all that way. So, that's what we're going to go see. We're going to go, uh, I don't know if I want to walk it or not. Should we walk it? Why not? It's probably just as far for me to go the other way. Thirty-six hundred head dairy. This would be interesting to see for sure. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can find my dad and the crazy old men out here and uh, check this place out. Look at the parking. It's crazy. We got trolleys and everything. There you go. Can't believe this. Gorgeous day though. Couldn't ask for a better day. You want to know what the absolutely incredible thing is? Here I am. I don't know, 100 yards from a 3,600 head dairy, okay? Now I don't know if you're familiar, but dairy cattle, cows usually don't smell the best. And this fan system they've got going here, I don't smell a thing, and I'm a 
7,500 yards away at best. Here I am. There's the building behind me. So, if that tells you anything about what the egg industry is out here trying to do and be good neighbors, that'd be a good start. All right, everybody, we're taking a little tour of the Perry Creek Dairy with my cousin Jill there on the right, our friend Mel Heyman, and my dad, Dale McClure. Wave hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Well, this is the feet mill here. So this is the feet section. The corn flakes. And... Hey, Tammy. So, cool. Yeah, it's great because it's all labeled. So, yeah. Not exactly. A lot of it, the, um, like the soybean meal, <laughs> and it's like, it comes from the local hot and seed. So that's Brad Chapman, college friend of ours. He was actually uh, AGR with Scott. And he was he, right around my grade. I grew up in the middle of 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 the the other dairy doesn't. It's direct load, no, so that no, always goes into the tanker. Always been there, yeah. Right. Here we have tankers coming and going. What's well, a good winter time? They can't get in. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Well, you know what happened in Plymouth? His Wells is the one that's in charge of getting the tankers to the dairy to, to send the tankers then to the South Ice Cream Plant receiving. Well, there was a really bad snowstorm in March. They pulled the drivers. They said, "Yeah, we can't get out there." This guy got a girl in Miller. He goes, I'll get my truck. I'm going to come get your tanker. Like, okay. So, yeah, he went out there with his truck, with the tanker. His brother was in the loader in front of him, clearing the road oh, to get the tanker back to the south plant. He wasn't gonna so, we got milk silos over here. Pretty neat. This is just one of two dairies that they've got. Yeah, those are the milk silos. And that's like the whole children. The other dairy is direct load. Oh. Yeah. It's where they chill the outcoming milk in the chiller here. Take a quick peek at that. It's amazingly clean. And most of the milk that is produced here is made into cheese, so. We're gonna keep going. I gotta catch up with my tour guide. The tour guide today is my cousin Jill Fireholm. She grew up in Huxley, Iowa, and on a farm. And hey, good. What do you know? You're on. You're on camera. How are you doing? <laughs> this is Scott. Nice turnout. <laughs> yeah. Really nice turnout. Hey. Yeah. I guess so. Good to see you. Woo. All right. Not, a lot nicer in here. We are gonna go. Smokes. So we're headed where? Upstairs. Upstairs. We're going to go see the carousel from above. Where's, where's the uh, elevator? Yeah. Uh, a guy like you. Old guys wondering where the elevator is. Yeah. Oh my. So this is the bird. There's more down here. This is the bird that we were down there. Did that when you were seeing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is the, this is the bird's eye view. Yeah. So this is the bird's eye view. Wow. So they get in and out down there. Okay. Yeah. So the. We went walk through the barns. There's an alleyway, so all the cows come through the barn, yeah. and then there's a crowd gate that then keeps moving them up oh my. until they can get into the rotary. So how long do they usually stand on the rotary? So if they stand on it for eight minutes all the way around. Usually, the average time they get milked is four. Wow. So you can see when they first get on the rotary over there. Yeah. Then there's one guy, you can kind of see him down below. He's doing the teat pre dip to yeah. clean all of the yeah. teats. And then the guy next to him is applying all of the milkers. Wow. Incredible. So, so now, how about training them to come in here? Is that a problem? 
No, I mean the first time when we first um, got the cows to the facility, yeah. you had to manually push help them in there. get them in there. But once they understand, they like know. now all of these cows know what to do. Like, oh, yeah. and they want to be milked because they're ready. So they, they it's their turn. Yep, they wait, and then <laughs> you know some of them are a little more patient than others. But yeah, it's like people. How many head are in this carousel at any one time? Eighty. I counted real quick. You did? Yeah. Oh. No, we read the sign. We read that sign. I missed that sign. It's down, it's down at the tour, at the doors. Oh, I didn't go there. Yeah. Point A, you always skip point A. I did, I skipped point A. I went, went, I went straight to the ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a day this has been. Um, super exciting. Just amazing to see this. Perry Creek Dairy um, that I just got to visit and I mean so much <laughs> publicity about it even the sheriff showed up uh, which is fantastic to come see the place um, my cousin Jill and her husband Scott Firehelm um, and his family uh, run this dairy and uh, it is uh, probably the most amazing thing I've ever been inside of. Um, 3,600 head. They're expecting to have about 4,000 by the end of this year, by fall. Uh, 4,000 head in there. And they milk about 80 cows at a time. And it's, it's, it's amazing. It is absolutely the most incredible thing I've ever, ever gotten to see. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. And... Um, really do appreciate you uh checking in with us please make sure you subscribe to our channel um this is exciting this is our uh, very first video and uh i am headed on the long road home to waverly nebraska which is um just about 10 minutes north of lincoln nebraska if that helps you at all um yeah we used to have a football team there we still do they're just you just wait they're coming but uh at any rate, I just had a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, please make sure you subscribe. If you ever need anything, you can call me at 402-650-1816. You can email me at McClureLandInc at gmail.com. Um, Facebook, McClureLand Inc. And uh, Instagram, as we're on there. We're on everything. You can find us um, one way or another. So we'd love to have you as a part of our community. And if you have any videos or if you have a place that I need to come see, um, I want to get the word out there that our egg community is doing well and they're strong and they are caring. They care about the land, they care about the animals, and they care about what they're doing and the product they're producing. And I, I, that just makes my day to see that. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm almost without words, believe it or not. So I'm going to sign off. Again, thanks again, everybody. Have a great night. We'll talk soon.